All through primary school, we've been working with the Hull Museum Service to work on a project relating to the life of Mary Meadow. Our core audience at the moment is primary schools. One of the issues that schools had identified that they were teaching history from a more generic kind of basis rather than uncovering these, you know, significant stories that Hull has. And essentially what Hull curriculum is, is a way of teaching history through a local lens. It's a one-stop shop for kind of everything, sort of local history, for the schools to access. It's reliable, it's researched by experts. And the other strand to Hull curriculum is pop-up exhibitions. This is a really good way for them to understand where they come from. They're getting to use their hands, they're getting to really think about the objects. And the fact that you have the smells in the boxes is again, it's another sensory experience for those children. So they know that in the hospital, Mary would have worn a stethoscope, but they now know what that hospital would have smelled like as well. So I think it's a really nice way for them to develop their knowledge in a, in a fun way. That Mary Murdoch was a suffragette. She was the first lady in the hall to, to open a crush and the first lady in the hall to open a doctor's hospital and the first woman in the hall to drive a car. We've been able to walk around the classroom and then look at the map and find glasses. It's been really fun and I liked um, and I liked learning about the artifacts. It's been an honour to me to learn about Mary Murdoch. For our children, especially in Hull, because we do have quite high levels of children who maybe don't have the life experiences that other children would have, um, I wanted them to have that chance to realise, yep, yeah, this is what life in 1904 was like. All of this knowledge that the children are gaining will be then put together into an exhibition that we present to our parents and then hopefully the parents will gain some knowledge from that as well. I've been shown around about um, Mary Murdoch, learned loads to be fair. She was a very influential woman, made a big difference to Hull. I think it's a great thing because the children are telling us rather than us finding that information they're telling us so they're learning and we're learning at the same time. I think it's listening to their perspective. It's one thing a teacher just standing in class preaching at them. It's another thing getting them interactive. I'm super happy. I'm super proud of the children. For me, the way the children have taken it on board, it's shown just how much knowledge they can actually gain from a topic. The suffragette stuff, the fact that they now know about artifacts from the 1900s that they never would have seen before. It's just amazing to see, and it's definitely something that I would want to incorporate into our other history units. I think just examples, real solid examples of people achieving things in their lives and overcoming things, and the impact that they've had on other people's lives. And that they say, yeah, okay, somebody else has done that, they're from Hull, you know, I've been Hull, and um, facts that Hull curriculum covers a lot of strong uh, female figures, so as well as campaigning, it's that, you know, female first as well, so like Amy Johnson, and the children really respond to that as well. We're at the Street Life Museum in Hull. We've got a class of year two children with us. They've started their history topic called Amazing Amy Johnson. The children have done about two weeks worth of learning already in school. They know the basics about where Amy Johnson was born, why she's important to the people of Hull, and they know what she did in her life and how that was unusual for females at the time. This morning, the children are taking part in an interactive workshop with the museum service. They've got the opportunity to have or artifacts from Amy's life to find out more about what life was like long ago as well as meeting Amy Johnson herself. I've been learning about where she travelled and how long it took. She was born in 1903 and she was born in Hull and we learned about um, uh, Gypsy Moth and uh, things that she used to do. 
We try our hardest in school to make our lessons and our learning as engaging and as exciting as possible, but there's a limit to how much money we can spend on different resources and artefacts. Heritage Learning, the museum service, they have so many things that they can loan to us, or if we visit the museum, it's here for the children to handle. And also being here in the museum, we've got the experts working with the children. So they've got so much enthusiasm and knowledge that they can share with the children and really inspire the children and bring their learning to life. In four years time, when they're in year six, they will remember the day they came to the Street Life Museum and met Amy Johnson.